Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing very well on this summer hot day. In London especially, it's been like 30 odd degrees. Um, just melting in here. So as you can see, obviously I've got no makeup on. However, I went shopping yesterday in Westfield and I went into the Morphe shop and I managed to pick up what every makeup artist is going on about, which is the P. Louise Base um, 2 basically. This isn't obviously the shade 2, which is the most popular shade. I've heard so many reviews about it, but I've yet to try it. Like I have tried a couple of times to get it online, but it's always been sold out in this particular shade. So I was quite surprised that they had it in store and I didn't even know that they sold P. Louise in there. So it just comes in like a tube like this, like a little black tube with a little nozzle on the end. Um, I've heard, especially when you're doing makeup, um, it's so good for your eyeshadow base and that's what most people use it on. But it is a cosmetic base so you can use it, I believe, on other things like maybe blemishes, you know, under eye bags, concealer, that kind of stuff. So I thought I'd just review it on here. Um, so it's not gonna be a crazy long video, but I'll show you what it's like to applicate it onto the eye. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on like that. And as you can see, it's a nice light shade. They have plenty of shades. So if you're more ivory skin tone, if you're darker skin tone, they've got loads of shades for you. So I'm just gonna pop some onto a fluffy brush and just apply it. Apparently the good thing about this one is that um, it's good for carving out and it gets um, it's full coverage, but it also gets really tacky. And when you are applying eyeshadow, you want the base to be tacky and you want it to become more vibrant. Um, so that's why everybody loves this one at the moment. So it has got a lovely, lovely creamy consistency when applying. But as you can see, that is, if I close my eyes, that is covered up very nicely. It is quite tacky, like if I come a bit closer, can you see it pulling my eyelid almost? So it has got a lovely creamy consistency, as I said, plenty of shades. I think the, what did I pay for it? It was either £10 or £20. I can't remember. But. I'm also then going to apply it under my eye and see what it's like as a concealer. Let's apply some underneath. It's meant to brighten up that area. So you can do it in like a triangle shape. And then again, just using the same fluffy brush, I'm just gonna apply that. So it is very, very full coverage. I wonder if they do, um, or if she does foundations, because if it's as good coverage as this, then that'd be quite impressive i'm just gonna buff that out with a foundation brush so yeah like i definitely think that has brightened up brightened up my under eye and it'd be really nice to see what foundation um foundation what um oh my god i can't speak it would be nice to see how eyeshadow applies um to it i won't be doing it in this video i just really wanted to show you like a basic review on this because some people then go ahead and put um concealer on it straight away Concealer, I can't speak eyeshadow, 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 eyeshadow. It is very tacky, but it doesn't feel heavy whatsoever. But I definitely feel like it has just like brightened up this side of my face. But yeah, stay tuned. I will be using this in a makeup tutorial. So keep that alert icon on and you'll be able to see me use that in action. But yeah, I hope you're all doing well, guys. Stay safe. Peace out.